Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. Now, where we left off, we were in the middle of a war with Ethiopia and Medri Bari. That's probably going to be taking up the majority of the time this episode. We also do have the availability of a new idea group, but I think we were kind of waiting on making that decision. Um, trade ideas, you know, trade ideas really do appeal to me because Yemen... We're in a really good position for capturing a lot of trade to the east of us at sort of starving out Europe uh, from South African and Asian trade. Like, I mean, we could do a lot here, but we, we'll, we'll kind of consider it and we'll see, we'll see what we do. Anyways, we have a war to fight, so I think I do want to be careful here. I don't want to go into any provinces where I don't have supply limit. Um, let's see, where is my navy? Okay, I, I may put my navy in a I'm considering putting my navy in a what you call it what's the word I'm looking for blockade formation I may put my navy in here for now I'll leave it I'll leave my navy kind of exploring and stuff like that and we'll see what we can do um let's see do you do you have claims on Ethiopia yes you do I would like to get you your your um your core back so I will go quickly I will go quickly at speed three take this on I do, I do think I need to start learning the hotkeys a bit better. For example, Detach Siege is D. And uh, and stuff like that. I think that'll help my... Ooh. That's really bad. Okay, my ally was caught and then stack wiped. That's kind of painful. We control this province now. We will go ahead and send this to Adal because we want Adal to have that province. Okay, now I have to wait for my ally to make troops. Where are my vassals armies? I guess. Did I give them both scootage? I didn't. So where's your army, Rashids? Why aren't you coming over? That's interesting. They have decided that helping me is not of a, a critical import. Uh, this is a little bit awkward, because we needed those 7,000 troops from my ally. So now we have to wait for him to rebuild his army and play kind of defensively here. Let's see if I can find a Highlands. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sit in this province because it'll give me a defensive bonus. Um... So he's probably gonna he probably gonna like lose the early portion of this war a little bit. But we should be um able to make Ooh, admin tech cost. I think I kinda judged that not worth it when I previously kind of thought about slotting that in. I'm wondering where this extra 10k troops are coming from. I guess it does make sense. So let's see here. This is a coastal desert province. Oh, don't do this with your army. God damn it. You have to try and get them all together. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure my ally doesn't screw the pooch here and lose his army. Although I would love to catch that um, regiment there. So once he's hitting there on the 18th of November... I'll give him a couple days so that he gets locked in, and then I will go and attack him. So he actually attacked the siege. He uh, assaulted the fortress. So let's see if I can pick off another couple of these littler chunks of the army. So there's five legitimacy there. Nice one. Free five legitimacy. Ah, Castile's golden era. Let's see if we can't catch these guys off. Okay, so we're picking off little bits here and there. Oh, they retreated. Damn it. Um, 
Ah, here comes colonialism. The discovery of the new world has heralded a new era, not only for the colonizers and the colonized. This has led to the spread of materials and techniques as well as realization of the vast size of the globe. Animals, crop type, silver and diseases spread across the Atlantic. The first steps have been taken towards a truly global economy. As foreign lands and people are mapped and documented, ideas as well as religious and philosophical Philosophical debate has become more and more coloured by what we have found in overseas societies. Great minds feel the need to question what was once truth. From Val Valadoid Valadolid to Fatehepursikri, the nature of the world is now up for debate. So that is the colonialism thingy. So where are you coming into here? We need to go meet up with these guys. Ah, damn. I caused them to split. Well, I saved... I need to keep this little army alive because it is the thing that's equalizing us here. Um, and we need to get all of our armies together. If only I could get my allies to come. I don't know why these guys won't come help me. It's a little bit confusing. They should... Like, he's not disloyal. He doesn't have scootage enabled, does he? What if I put him on siege mode? Okay. Okay, this is the best chance we have. Let's have a look at the generals. One, three, one. Three, two, five, two. So, this is a 13... A 13, five on a 12, 6,000. This is the best fight we're going to take. We're going to have an... We should have an automatic minus one to them. And we have a couple of attacks. Uh oh, okay. I expected my ally to come help. But this is actually going to be the worst fight we could possibly take. So let's have a look. We're going to have to retreat here as soon as we can. Although we might not. Let me have a look here. Ethiopia is still the attacker, okay? I have a lot more discipline. I have a lot more morale. I have better military tactics. Okay. Let's see. So I'm losing more men. If I roll poorly... Okay, I rolled higher than them. Okay, here comes a shock phase. Okay, we're rolling equal. They're taking more morale damage. And they're taking more troop damage. Okay, he rolled a really good shock phase here. This is really bad. I need to roll high. So it's a 7... It's a 9 versus a 5. Give me a good shock phase. An 8 versus a, a 1. That should be like thousands, yeah, 700. Although somehow I'm still losing a lot of troops, I don't know why. Okay, I'm deleting all oh, his front line is broken. So this should be actually a win now for me. So let's have a look. We lost about 8,000 men, and they lost about 9,000 men. So that actually came out pretty well for me. I got a lot of army tradition, I got a lot of prestige, and uh, I cut down a lot of manpower. But I think that was worth it. So he got Battlefield Medic, so he will reinforce quickly, which is, you know, it's okay. So let's go step off somewhere where we're not going to be um, in bad shape. Oh, I'll let you take that on. Oddly, this is faster than going another way. Okay. See, I don't know what the hell you're doing over here, buddy. Oh, right, I told you to go assault. No, I want you to be as supportive now. Although... Fifteenth of May, they're gonna leave. I'm gonna get there on the eighth of May. Hell yeah, free kill. Two thousand troops, a cavalry and an artillery. Looks great to me. Just got a free kill on a couple thousand troops. Now we have a well, now we have a, 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 a solid advantage.
Okay. So let's see if we can't uh, maybe begin pushing in here. I wonder if I could find their army. If I could find their army, I could probably stack wipe it maybe. Oh uh, no, it depends. So how many troops have we left to reinforce? I think we need to wait a month here. Um, this is actually good if they cross over because then I can potentially split their army. So you're going to arrive in Taiz. You're going to arrive in Tajura on the 15th of July. So on the 15th of July, you're going to arrive on the 17th. Okay, so we have effectively split their armies. Their armies have been split, and now this should work in my favor. I'm going to reinforce this battle. Okay, so they took another few thousand losses. Let's go ahead and head over to this and see if we can stack wipe Medribari. Oh, I can't cross because this fort is occupied. Aha. Okay. Well. I don't think they have a proper fort over here. No. So let's at least get the war score ticking in our favor. And on the way, I'll detach, I'll detach a siege just for one month. So, could I exploit my Amirs for manpower here? It would cost me 15 loyalty, which is a lot. But it would get me a, it would net me a big chunk of manpower, so I'm going to take it. Um, can I exploit this? Okay, that's the best I can do for now. I got a, I got a chunk of manpower just to keep us going here. See, isn't there a slack in recruitment standards? Uh, yeah, I can get five. I can get five thousand man. I can get four thousand manpower here and reduce our professionalism by five, which I'm totally okay with doing. Gives me another button to uh, pull manpower from. Okay, we took this province under control. I'm amazed that you can't. I'm amazed you're not getting siege progress there. I guess it is the size of the fort. Okay, we can go take on these ships now. We should have a navy that's big enough. We'll probably lose a couple of ships, but that's okay. Because we should capture a couple of ships. Okay, we captured we captured a bark. Okay, excellent. Let's go sit in this province here. Now we're not losing money, but we're not really making money either. Let's combine these forces. What is the combination thing? Let me see here. What's the combination button? I need to I need to learn these hotkeys to speed up how I play. So it's G there. Okay. Um So we took the war goal. That's gonna give us ticking war score. Now it is an unfortified war goal. Um we're gonna trade this over to Adal, because we do want Adal to get some provinces out of this, because we want them to get we want them to be happy with us. And basically what I'm trying to do is, is cut off over here and see if I can take some of these provinces and sort of take lower upper Egypt for myself. So... Is this lower Egypt or upper Egypt? I can't remember which one is upper. I always forget. I always mix them up. So, military access from you. Okay, well, if you're at war with them, Bakura... Well, that means I need to get, I need to occupy the provinces that I want really quickly. And it's these two. So I'm just going to get these under occupation so that I am. Um, just so I know for a fact that I have the ones I want, right? So that they can't, you know, occupy ahead of me or, or something crazy like that. So these are the two I want, at least for now. So I'll take them.
I don't really care about their capital, they can have that. I'm more interested in going to defeat this army. I have to wait till this siege goes through. So I need to get across there and be fighting ASAP. What I'm going to do is I would like... Okay. My heir is a charismatic negotiator. Come on, hit, hit the siege. Come on, I need to get over there. I swear to God, if he rolls a high number here, come on, roll roll a hit on the siege, come on. Will you let me assault with you? Damn it, I'm not leading the siege. I can't do it. I don't have any boats to transport across either. Oh, come on, don't let him. You're going to let him siege down my province. Win the siege already. Oh, I should have left my leader there because he gives plus two to siege rolls. Are you kidding me? 48% chance and you didn't hit it. Okay, we did it. Let's go see if we can catch these guys now. They Just please don't roll a hit. God damn it. Now I have to try and... Capturing these guys is going to be really awkward now. Because they have a fort, which makes things really, really awkward. Okay, we caught them. Okay, nice one. We don't even have to worry about it. We have such a superior force. So they're going to retreat over here. See if we can't catch them. Oh no, they retreated here. See if we can't catch them there. Okay, we stack wiped them. He's going to defend my provinces. It's good stuff. Now I can fight these guys in even ground. These guys are occupied so they can't make any more troops. Okay, great. So we're in a position now. Excellent. We're in a position now to start the uh, the war in earnest. I would really like to have that province for myself. Really, 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 really like to have that province for myself. Let's see if we can catch this army out on its own. We have a, we have a decent chunk of manpower to take a couple battles here. We're going to take a... Oh, what's going on there? We're going to take a minus one, but that's not too bad. Okay, we rolled a... Four versus a three, so that's a slight advantage to us, so we should be doing more damage. Okay, he rolled a way better shock phase. We're still going relatively equal. He rolled a nine to our two. That's brutal. Come on, give me a good shock phase. Okay, that's not exactly great. We're nine versus a nine. Oh my god, this is just terrible. We're getting awful rolls. Yeah, he's like he rolled like all of the nines there. We got like no nines. Regardless, we won. It just cost me a lot more troops than I would have liked. Yeah, look at that. He lost more cavalry than me. And cavalry are the expensive ones, so... Not the end of the world. However, that was a lot. I'm going to go ahead and slack in recruitment standards here. And that'll net me a few thousand manpower to keep my armies well supplied in manpower. So let's have a look at the ledger here. How are you guys doing in army quality? They're getting pretty low on manpower. Let's go fully occupy these guys. If we can. See if we can't catch these little troops that are hanging around. There we go. Just keep stack wiping them. 
So this is my main war opponent, so I want to get him sieged down. Uh, because this is who I'm going to be negotiating with when I go for peace. Now my war exhaustion is getting fairly high, so that's something we do need to worry about. We're starting to get um, a little bit of rebels. Okay, they were trying to build a spy network with me. Okay, my ally is sieging down my provinces. It may be worth it to buy this down a little bit. We'll see. Corruption is coming down, which is good. Okay, so he's sieging over here. I'm sieging over here. I have. I think I will siege first, and then I might be able to make it over here and fight him. Okay, so I annexed the Rashids. What that should let me do is... Shift Consolidate. What kind of troops are these? These are regular men. And then I'll delete a couple of these. Um, I'll delete this um, weaker regiment. Then I'll have a look here. So yeah, now I'm only one unit over the force limit, so I'm not taking huge penalties. Um, I will be disbanding these two mercs, actually, so I think maybe I didn't have to disband the way I did, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't be recruiting any more units for a while, just because my manpower is so sketchy right now, and I need to kind of, kind of, kind of ride that line. But I should be able to capture this without too much trouble. And then you won't be able to make any more units for a while. Now I could invest in serfdom. And that's not a bad idea. I think that we want to get the next tech because we need to be careful here. Let's look at our neighbors. Yeah, a lot of our neighbors have mil tech 8. And we're on 7, so I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe taking the uh, the next idea. I don't want to invite any scholars. These are all just fine. I'll leave these all up here. That's okay. We'll combine here. It might be better if I detached a big enough siege. And then... Did basically everyone. And then just had the reserve army nearby in a province. This way I minimize how much attrition I'm taking because I'm taking a lot of attrition right now. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. I'm going to call this an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. We'll uh, continue this in the next one. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.